everybody, it's Jeff here once again with T-Works and our Entrepreneurial Essentials program. And I get to interview my friend Jessica today <laughs> of Hot Dog Marketing. And you are going to love her. She's amazing. One of the most amazing people that I've known in the uh, in really the entire marketing industry. <laughs> so she's awesome and has got a cool group of people that she works with. So she'll share that story today and how she got to where she's at. Click that subscription button. If you do not do that, you're not going to get to meet really cool people like this. If you like what we talked about today, share this with your friends. Hit that share button and put us out on your social media so that we can get the word out about Jessica and her team and share the show with everybody else. Else. So Jessica. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me Thank on the show. Thank you for coming over. Yeah. So Jessica comes over from Round Rock. Yeah, long trip over I know, here it was to horrible, Park. you know, <laughs> 10 minute journey over here. The non-traffic was amazing. It is awesome. Yeah, 1431 straight <laughs> mm -hmm. through. So tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. Oh, sure. Well, I started my career in corporate marketing. Okay. Um, and I did that for a good 10 years. And I think at some point, you just kind of realize that you're not making an impact. So the last company I was at was a very large company, and I was one of many hundreds of marketing people. And so even though I thought I was doing a good job, you know, it's hard to see a ship turn when yep. it's that big. So I started working with small businesses in 2008 mm -hmm. and realized that my set of skills and my ability to work one-on-one -on -one with a small business was way more valuable. So I probably shouldn't have, but I was doing that on the side while I worked my other job. Um, and then in 2012 is when I took the leap and decided to do it full-time. So I left uh, that company and I spent the first year and I going to every meeting, having coffee with everybody I could possibly have go. coffee with. Shook as many hands as possible. There you go. Yeah, sp spread out my business cards everywhere and um, yeah, just kind of hit the road that way. And so that was at 2012 and then by 2013 I'd started hiring people, moving cool. into office space, that kind That's of thing. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about Hot Dog and what y'all do a little bit different from everybody sure. else. Sure. So Hot Dog Marketing um, is unique because we're a marketing agency that works with small to medium sized businesses mm -hmm. primarily. Okay. A lot of agencies that work with small business. They're not really after small business, mm -hmm. and but we are. We like that independent spirit. And a lot of the things that we've done from processes to the service packages we've come up with are specific for small business. So I'm okay. really proud that we figured that out. And we offer digital marketing, we mar uh, branding, graphic design services, and website development. We're one of Austin's largest website development agencies. I did not know that yeah. about you. That's amazing. Yeah, we produced 35 websites last wow. year. I'm not sure where we're at this year, but somewhere along the A lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot, yeah. You know, we don't have a large team, as you know, um, but we're able to do that because we have a great process mm -hmm. for efficiency in these projects. So when you do it that way, you can price them affordably for mm -hmm. the small business. You can get a lot of them done. So, well, and that's, yeah. I mean, that's the thing I hear so many times with a lot of these, you know, folks, especially small businesses set yeah. up, try and set up a website and it becomes this horrendously long, oh, never ending process. And, and so many times it just doesn't get done right. Oh yeah, I totally yeah. agree. And there are a lot of amazing freelancers yep. in this city. Um, but a lot of them don't have a great process mm -hmm. and they're going to rely a lot on the small business owner to kind of guide them mm -hmm. and they'll get the work done, but they need the guidance and the small business owners, not a website development That's expert. Kind of the idea of <laughs> yeah. hiring somebody. Yeah. For yeah. And so it ends up being extremely painful usually on both sides. Okay. And when you come to an agency, you can get surrounded by experts. Everybody's there to mm -hmm. help you along the way. Um, and we're very upfront and transparent about how we want to do the project up front. Um, and what responsibilities the client is going to have. Mm -hmm. And the less responsibility they have, the more we can take on for them. We just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just need this information mm -hmm. from you. Let us take it's, it on exactly, and we got it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's the benefit of a team, right? Okay. So what's new in your world now? Oh, gosh. We've got so many great things. So we moved into our downtown Round Rock office space about one year ago. Mm -hmm. And every year that we've been in business, we've moved or expanded offices. <laughs> So 2019 is the first year that we'll have a, a budget <laughs> that doesn't change. <laughs> 
and that you're in the same spot yeah, for the a fixed, year. Yeah, the fixed expenses for our budget are, are set, which is nice. so exciting. It seems so nerdy, but when you're a small business owner, being able to predict a single year out is, mm -hmm. is pretty exciting. So we're moving into some new systems, um, and we will probably hire some additional staff next year um, okay. as we continue to grow, but we have a new salesperson who's come on, mm -hmm. who's really helping us grow. I've, I've kind of built a great machine, so we're trying to feed feed oh, it more it. clients. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Fast five questions. Now. Okay, here okay, we go. Ready? First question. You wake up in the morning, uh -huh. business is gone. Uh -huh. 500 bucks in your pocket, place to live, laptop, computer, okay. food and clothing. What do you do first? Um, okay, so I probably... And I still have all my still same you, skill all sets. skill sets. Okay. Yeah, you, you didn't give that up. Okay. You know, I think the first thing I would do would start researching agencies that okay. need help and see if they would want me to come and consult for them. Because okay. I feel like in the last eight years of, of, well, I guess it's been seven years of doing this, uh, I figured out so many things about how to operate a creative services business. Mm -hmm. If and I, run it well. Yeah, yeah, so if it were suddenly gone, hopefully for good reasons, not mm. bad reasons, I could go and share that with other people that were trying to do the I same thing. It. Yeah. What's your biggest entrepreneurial mistake? I've made so many. <laughs> um, I was actually, I was thinking about this this week. Um, you know, when I started the business, I had no idea how to do financial stuff, right? I think you know this about me, just number stuff is my weak part. And there's a reason why when you go to business school, okay. <laughs> it's mostly accounting and then some marketing and some other stuff, yeah. right? But it's mostly accounting. So um, I would say that my biggest mistake was in the first few years, I did not have a really clear understanding of what it actually costs to run my business. Mm -hmm. And I think a small business owner will not take into account a salary for themselves in the beginning mm -hmm. or what it would cost to have a salesperson and what that commission would be. Mm -hmm. But if you can start accounting for those costs early on, you can grow a lot faster. Yep. First few years, I didn't do that. Yeah. So fixing those problems became much harder to fix as you grow. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of clients and they expect a certain price point, and you've kind of screwed yourself out of yeah. <laughs> being Oops. able to properly yeah. price things early on, it's hard to recover from that. We sure. went through that. So I would say that's probably my biggest mistake, but I don't regret it because you learn a lot from that's it. That's exactly right. Yeah. So what's a good book that you recommend for? Okay. I have so many. I'm a business book junkie, that's but awesome. I will say my favorite book that I recommend to clients is The Purple Cow. Mm -hmm. Have Great. you read that one? Yep. Yeah. So that one's my favorite because I think it very succinctly... Uh, Seth Godin, by the way. Yeah, Seth Godin, yeah. yeah. Um, describes to you why branding is important, mm -hmm. right? When business owners look and try to differentiate themselves, they've got all of these different options. That book does such a nice job of figuring out what makes them special. And it's a quick read, mm -hmm. so I like that one. And then the other book that I recommend pretty frequently is Rework, the one okay. by... Um, the guys who founded Basecamp. Mm -hmm. That's also a really quick read, but it will remove some of the barriers you might have as an entrepreneur to getting started, mm -hmm. right? So you think, I can't get started until I can afford all this fancy office space mm -hmm. and I need to set all of these things up exactly right. You know, it kind of says, yeah. nope, you need to just get started. <laughs> get get and, going and yeah. figure it out. <laughs> and you don't need to spend the money that you think you need to spend mm -hmm. on certain things. And, you know, some of the things that about traditional work mm. no longer apply when you have technology. So I, I really like that book. That's awesome. Yeah. What's a good tool you use in your business every day? My Franklin Covey planner. <laughs> I have not heard that one in a long time. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm one of the few people that's still addicted yeah. to this planner. <laughs> You know, it's based on the seven habits. And like habits. super high tech company. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, um, you know, based on the seven habits of mm -hmm. highly effective people. And I still manage my time that way, you know, figuring out goals weekly, monthly, mm -hmm. breaking them down, prioritizing, writing things with pen on paper. Mm -hmm. I take notes in it when I'm on phone calls. That way I know exactly where to find my notes. Mm -hmm. And then I actually archive the pages. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that I work awesome. the system. Yeah, you're working it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is awesome. I know. That's I fantastic. could be a salesperson for yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. How do people get a hold of you? 
Uh, best way to get a hold of me is by emailing Hot Dog Marketing. So okay. it's info at hotdogpr.com. Um, but I'm also on Twitter, Jessica underscore markets. Mm -hmm. And um, I respond to that pretty frequently. And I'm on LinkedIn. Awesome. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much Thanks for coming for in today. Me. It was fantastic to hear yeah. the story about that. And we were, we were discussing her sign a little while ago. So if you're on... <laughs> If you're on the corner of Mays and, uh, and Main, Main Street, Street in, mm -hmm. in Round Rock, the white building, that's where Jessica's at. That's right. And uh, you can see her new sign that she battled for a year with. So yeah, it's a huge awesome. victory. <laughs> yes, she made it. Yeah, uh, thank So you. thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. you coming out. Guys, share this with your friends. She's amazing. Um, if you're a small business and you need a marketing firm to work with, I cannot recommend her more highly. She does amazing work. Totally stole her ideas for my own website on, <laughs> that they have on theirs. That's uh, great. It is, it is the most personable website I think I've ever seen. Oh, uh, where really you are able to tell who y'all are. Um, and I, I just think that just tells the story right there. And if uh -huh. you want that, here's where you find it. Thank you so much. So thank you. Down below here's all the information she gave today. It'll be in our show notes page. You can link to all of that so that you can go and see all this stuff and go to her recommended books. Yeah. Awesome. And we will see you guys here next week. Thank you.